beautiful sunny day. I think it's about time to set up these solar panels. Same ones as I've used last year. These ones are 30 watt and uh, I did end up getting a, another one too. So uh, going to be a total of 60 watts doubling my solar panels this year and quadrupling almost my uh, battery reserve. Behind me I've got a little frame I built for these things so let's not waste any time and let's get these things together. So I've got these things positioned facing south, more or less the angle that I need to optimize them for the sun. And now I need to connect the wiring in the back. So let's try to figure out what we need to do for that. So here I have, essentially it's a 30 watt panel, but it's two, each side is 15. I have an out coming from the one side. The other side has two, it has an in and an out. What I'll be doing is taking the out from this side putting it into the in on this one and then now coming out of here I have my 30 watts and this will run to my battery. Now I have a whole nother set back here and I can run each cable separately to the battery or I can probably rig something up, put them together so then I only have one cable going out to the battery. So with a little bit of solder and electrical tape I was able to do a little uh, adapter that lets me connect the two panels together. Good investment and it's pretty much a must have when you're dealing with solar panels is a little multimeter to just make sure that your polarities are never mixed up and that everything is working as it should be. And then I'll be taking the wire that has all my solar panels connected, connecting that to another wire, which runs all the way down to where my battery bank will be. So this is the cable running from my solar panels and they run into this battery box where I have two six volt batteries. Um, before I can even think about connecting this guy to the batteries, I need to make these six volt batteries 12 volt. And because I have two of them, I can connect them in series and make them 12 volt. I'll be connecting them with this four gauge copper wire and We'll get doing that right now. Now that the batteries are connected in series and 12 volts, I can connect the solar panels to them. I don't want to connect directly to them because then you can always risk overcharging your batteries and to prevent that you use a charge controller. This will shut off the panels when the batteries are full. You can also get ones that will prevent your batteries from discharging too much and uh, those are good too to prevent your batteries from draining too low and you end up wrecking your batteries which is I think what my problem was last year. So my power is running through my charge controller now and all I need to do is connect the out from the charge controller to the battery.
And just like that, we're making power. So not too hard, and I hope that was helpful for some of you guys. Let's go take a look at the plants and see how they're doing and if they're ready to get into this system yet. So here I am with the plants, and they're not doing too bad. Uh, there was a problem with some powdery mildew and fungus that sprung up and that did take a couple of plants but I uh, took some sulfur spray and hit up the leaves and that seemed to take care of it so they're slowly recovering I think and that might have slowed them down a bit. Unfortunately that uh, genetically superior giant pumpkin was also affected by it and it's having a real hard time coming back. If we take a look at it here it's pretty much the same size as it was about a week ago. There is some new growth coming up from it, uh, but you can see the leaves were really hurt, and that's probably combined with the transplant. I did, I think, wreck a few of the roots doing that, and then uh, just being attacked by the fungus. So I'm hoping it will recover, really hoping. Uh, if it doesn't, I do have a backup plan, so we'll see how that goes, but really hoping this guy pulls through. Aside from that, that's pretty much it. I'm going to give the peppers maybe another week here before I think about putting them into the hydroponic system. And uh, we'll get things finished up with that, with the plumbing and the pumps, and make sure everything's running before those move in. So, thanks for watching, and stay tuned for the next one. Mm -hmm.